Thanks for joining us. We are live at five, ready to get your thoughts on our story today. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook so you can be part of the conversation. I'm Cheryl Preheim here with Aisha Howard and Caitlin Ross, and we're talking about do cheaters prosper and how do you keep them from being part of the Olympic Games? I mean, now we are getting into the thick of this conversation now with a team that we've talked about several times with this issue. So a major shakeup in the 2020 Olympic Games. So today, the World Anti-Doping Agency announced it is banning the Russian flag and national anthem from Olympic Games and other major sporting events for the next four years. So according to the agency, evidence shows Russian authorities tamper with data to hide hundreds of potential doping cases and falsely shift the blame onto whistleblowers. The agency's president said they want to send a message that doping will not be tolerated. This is a ban against Russia that protects the rights of Russian athletes by allowing re-entry for major events to those that are able to demonstrate that they are not implicated in any way by the non-compliance. So now Russia has about three weeks to appeal the ban on its teams to an international court that rules on these sort of sports disputes. but. It might sound familiar to you. Yeah, it might sound familiar because we've heard this story before, but we've also heard about some incredible Russian athletes. So I want to get to Leslie's comment who says she's kind of disappointed that they're not going to see the gymnasts. Regret that those gymnasts aren't going to be there. Hopefully some can compete as neutral athletes. Mm -hmm. And that's the big question that people are asking. If they're competing as neutral athletes, isn't it still Russian athletes? There yeah. are even people within the World Doping Agency that said this does not go far enough. You take out the anthem and the flag, but you've still got country athletes uh, is that going to really keep Russia from doing this in, in the future? I'm getting ready to cover my fifth Olympics, and I'll tell you, nothing makes these athletes more furious than this issue because there are a lot of Olympians, the majority of Olympians, who put in the time and the work, and then if they have to line up against someone who's cheating yeah. and they miss out on a medal because of it, they want the integrity back into the Olympics. We all love watching the Olympics. There's something pure about it. It's people who may not make a fortune and they may never be famous, but this was their dream since they were six and then this sort of taints all of it so yeah. did the doping agency go far enough to say once and for all enough we're not going to allow a government to basically help its athletes cheat and that's the it's the whole conspiracy it's the fact that it's a whole thing it wasn't like an athlete went in a back room and did something themselves but you have the conspiracy of these very powerful people mm -hmm. who are assisting you in doing this and then on the back end helping you cover it up right so I think people will be watching to see how this plays out because we keep hearing about this particular country over and over again so Cheryl like you said you've been doing this for years I'm sure those athletes are not having it they're like shut it down right and you make a good point because uh, there are athletes from many different countries who have gotten involved in performance enhancing drugs. Yeah. But this is about a allegation that the country is the one that mm -hmm. set up the system and then said that its athletes had to do that because they were going to win at all costs. And that's such an important point that it was the entire country, not just one or two athletes. Right. Yes. We're about 220 days away, so I'll be packing soon. <laughs> all right. I want to know what you have to say about this because the Olympics are going to be here before we know it. And there is something awesome about the way the Olympics brings the world together. So subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go ahead and comment on this topic and others. We post here every weekday. And don't forget to follow us on our social media pages so you can be part of the conversation. Have a great day.